Federal North Bay Liberal MLA Ada Chong is the first government member who finds a target on her back. The anti-HST campaign says today it will go after Ida Chong first with a recall campaign that gets underway in two weeks. Chung is not the only island liberal who'll have to fight to hang on to her seat, though. Murray Cole and Don McRae will face a recall that begins in January. For both sides, the Chung campaign will be something of a training exercise. Our legislature reporter Shachi Curl has the story. In Oak Bay, Christmas has come early for those who want to fire Ida Chong. This constituency will be the first of five to launch recall campaigns against liberal MLAs to try to force them to fight for their jobs and by-elections. It's the result of voters venting their anger over the HST. We have to collect 15,366 signatures as a minimum, but we feel confident we can do that. Chong in Oak Bay, Gordon Head is the first on the list. Well, it is a target, absolutely, and I think uh, it's unfortunate. Fellow island liberals, Murray Cole in Saanich North and Don McRae in Comox Valley will look forward to recalls in the new year. Let's get it over with. Let's find out where people really stand on the issue. But convincing busy Christmas shoppers to stop and sign a petition could be difficult. Canvassers only have 60 days to achieve their goal. Besides, a lot has changed in B.C. since organizers first announced their intentions to start the recall campaign. The same people behind the recalls have already forced a referendum on the harmonized sales tax next September, one the government says will be binding. It's not always popular to do what you think in your heart is right. And the anti-tax anger also forced Premier Gordon Campbell to suddenly quit earlier this month. By-elections will cost half a million dollars each. Uh, half a million dollars times 10 by-elections is 5 million which is less than the 20 million they're going to spend on this referendum. What I can say, you know, about recall is that it is an important process. It is about um, making sure that uh, the person you elected continues to work hard on your behalf, which I believe I've been doing for the past 14 years. The Liberals also accuse the NDP of being behind this. Last month, A News exclusively revealed the opposition was quietly encouraging members to participate in recall campaigns, while leader Carol James said the party would have nothing to do with that process. They're looking for ridings where the NDP feel that they can uh, force a by-election and basically change the way Democrat uh, ideals are fought in this province, and it thinks the wrong thing to do. But how will voters view recall? And will they add their signatures to the petition? Would you sign it? Yes. Yeah. You? I would as well. No, and I have no problem with the HST. Uh, yeah, I, I have no problem with the HST either. I think it's probably necessary. Would you sign? No. I actually live in Gordon Head, and she works hard for the Gordon Head Oak Bay area. Unlike the street lamps, it will be a while before this process wraps up. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.